Welcome back to Wintermute Wednesday. We are about to uh, embark on our next our next part of the game. Now, I think because of how the last section ended, I actually have to load from the last checkpoint. So we are at 0% episode completion because we are about to start episode 2. Uh, apparently we are playing Mackenzie in the outdoors and we are in newbie mode, green survivor. So let's get going. Oh, we're getting the intro again. I think maybe this is a different intro. Mm, this looks like the same intro. I need to drop something. <laughs> I like his first thought when he wakes up. I got to drop something. All right, where are we? We clearly didn't die from that bear. Bear. Hey. Damn it. Not again. No. The lights. Hey. Oh, bear! Easy. Take it easy. <sighs> Who are you? Name's Mackenzie. I'm the one who saved you from the bear. Yeah. You kill it? I don't think so. But I hit it. Maybe scared it away. <laughs> Not the way you shoot. Glad your memory's coming back. Shit. He got me good this time. <laughs> this time? Mm. <sighs> yeah. Me and the old bear go back a ways. <clears throat> there's, there's unfinished business between us. I bandaged you up, but you're in bad shape. Is there anywhere to get medical help? What? <laughs> you mean like a hospital? Out here? Nah, nothing like that. I see you have a radio. Can we call for help? No. Radio's been dead for the past few days. I can't raise any of the usual channels. I'm not sure why. Well, you'll need some stronger meds to avoid infection. And for the pain. He's some kind of doctor. No. But I've been around doctors enough to know you'll be in trouble soon. Unless you get some better help than I can give you. Yeah. Right. Well. <clears throat> Closest help is probably in Milton. Back the way you came. Uh, there's nobody left to help you there. The town's pretty much deserted. There was a fire and... Uh... Damn. The next town's days away. I'm wrecked. But if you leave now, you might be able to... You won't last days like this. Must be another way. There's... There's someone who might help. But we can only reach them by radio. So, we're back to where we started. There's got to be somewhere nearby that might have medical supplies, or another radio we can use. You might find some comms gear, or parts, in the old Carter Dam. It's probably ancient stuff, though. That place has been abandoned for years. It used to have a first aid room. Might still be some old meds there, too. <laughs> Something strong enough to maybe numb this pain. Hang in there. I'll be back as soon as I can. Wait. Wait. The old bear. He's still out there. I'll be wanting to finish the job. Okay. Here. Take my rifle. You won't kill him. But you might scare him off again. Right. Watch out. 
Damn. Unstable. Wait, what? What do you mean unstable? Damn it. He's passed out. All right, uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> it is kind of weird because if you play the survival mode, this is a place that you get to find. Oh. Oh, survival school lessons. Yeah, I've repaired clothing items. The wounded trapper entered the abandoned dam. Yeah, so... So this is uh, some of the stuff that you learn how to do in survival mode. Enter the abandoned dam. Okay. Dude, put his feet up on the bed at least. That can't be comfortable. All right, hunting rifle. An old 303 caliber bolt action hunting rifle. Bring a deer down. Maybe a wolf. Okay. Uh, new objective, snare a rabbit. This is all my survival school stuff. Any more baselines gonna... Okay, basics of survival. Snare a rabbit, learn to mend. So I have snared a rabbit before. Um, but I would like to use a workbench. What do I need? Oh, I need a lot of pelt. I only have one pelt. But, guess what I'm gonna dump here, boys? <laughs> guts, guts, guts. We're gonna let these all cure. And, uh, pelt, 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 pelt. I wish I could search. Uh, I've got some snares. Leather. Okay, this is cured. This is cured. Fresh. Okay, so fresh, I gotta drop. Fresh, 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 fresh. Holy crap. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Man, all that, it still didn't uh, get me to where I need to go. Okay. Here we go. So, here are my side quests. I gotta make some more tea. Dressing. More tea. Good. What can I make? I can make some mushrooms, and uh, I can use that to brew tea. And then I got some more rose hips. I can brew tea with that check off some of the items from my list and then I don't have I need some more lichen I like looking at the cool looking lichen that is what we learned when I was a camp counselor let's cook uh, let's let's use the cooking pot. We'll just leave that cooking pot there. And... Let's see if we can just put a can down and make some mushrooms. Ready? Ready. And let's see how that does for my for my quest. I wish I had a faster way of getting to the quest. Okay, those are done. So and I just need to get some old man's beard wound dressing. And let's see. Bandage. Okay, that's it. So these are all my guts and hides. We're going to let those do their thing. 
Um, I need a new hatchet. What is this? Is There's a lot of good stuff over here. I don't want to take this guy's stuff. Search his locker for nothing. Okay. Pork and beans. I'm good on food for now. I have some cattails I can chew on. But I'm not so worried. I must have eaten all the rabbit I caught. So, if my guess is correct, I have no idea where That trapper's my key to getting out of here. Yeah. You better not die on me. I agree he better not die on us. But where the heck am I? Trapper's homestead. And this is the camp office. Okay, the camp office is what I'm familiar with, I think. Lookout. Carter. Oh no, the wounded trapper. Wait, is this where I am? I thought I was here. Trapper's homestead. Maybe this is where I need to go. So this is the dam. So this is a railroad track that runs along the way. This goes down to a lake that has some cabins around it. If if it is what I think it is. Um, but let's make our way through. The camp office is a cool place. But we us figure out where some rabbits are so we can set some snares. Oh, I don't want to go out this way. Bin is full of... Fuel? Ooh. And a rifle cartridge. Yeah. I need those things. How do I refuel my lantern? Oh, look. I could have just clicked that button there. I have scrap metal. That's good. Is lantern a tool? Lantern. Oh, I don't need to... Okay. Lantern. Refuel. Fill that baby up. Great. Okay. Harvest? Ew, no. But now, I've got flare shells. I've got... I don't have a firearm cleaning kit. Okay, so if I... Flare. Okay, so what do I pull first? Is the rifle. That's it. Okay. And I can aim. Oh, and that's how long my aim goes. Do you see that in the lower right? Before what? Before I get wonky? Oh, yeah. It takes too much. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun. That's a fun mechanic. So then I gotta go through what to flare, then to rock, which I always think it's a snowball. <laughs> okay. Let's get looking. I see some lichen. Um, so let's go grab that and start orienting ourselves a bit. We should drop some weight, actually. We should have dropped some more back in the cabin, but. We'll get some of this lichen, because I really don't want an ankle sprain, even though now we have a cool... We're back to having a nice little cabin to sleep in. I just need one more. I think I saw one over here. So, this is real interesting, because Milton... I So, in the survival campaign... Uh, campaign, that's not even the correct way to say it. In the survival game, which is the original game, there's no, um, there's no real objective, like, other than survive. So, you just survive as long as you can. And that's a real interesting way to play. Some people play and they get in, like, literally 100 days, 1,000 days, whatever. There's, there's some amazing... YouTube channels out there of people doing these really epic survivals where they have honestly set up like homesteading. Oh, so where do I need to go? I need to head this way. So they've set up some pretty amazing like fishing runs and snare lines and like all this stuff. They have 
they have it all nailed down because you know you need to keep getting food and all of those things um i think the longest i've lasted in survival is like 20 days but survival is like this it you are out in the wilderness just doing your thing doing the best you can to survive so what's interesting is that when you play survival mode you get to pick where you start out and there's different you know varying levels of difficulty did i see a rabbit I thought I saw something moving. There's also birds and stuff around that you can get. But, uh... Anyway. So there's... You know, one of the places that you can... Pick is Mystery Lake. And if you look... We're in Mystery Lake! So here's the Broken Railroad, Forlorn Muskeg. Mystery Lake is where we are. Um... And so I have the tiniest bit of experience in this area. And by, by tiniest bit of experience, I mean, well, that's my own footprints. Um, I have been out to the lake. I've been to the camp office and along the railroad and not really much else. I haven't explored much else. So there's a tint of familiarity a tint a hint a hint of familiarity for me here but not not enough that's gonna make me like speed run this part of the game so no worries there that i'm just gonna like oh i know to hit this up hit that up and honestly i don't know how much has changed with respect to being in a story mode so it could be that like that cabin doesn't have a person in it when you're in survival mode. It is just you. So, and you have an empty map, so you don't even know what's there until you get there. You can use coal to map your surroundings, but that's about it. So I am not seeing any rabbits of any kind. I really don't like going up these massive hills. I'm just wandering aimlessly at this point. I keep getting excited. Ooh, I see something. It's a rock. But trees and stuff, these are landmarks. Really... This is kind of gnarly. But there's nothing around here. Yeah, that hill's too steep for me. I feel like going up this hill is not going to be ideal. Like this clearing area kind of looks like that's a path. But do I want to go up this way? To go around? That feels like a lot. And I don't know that we'll make it to the dam. I'm just going in circles. I don't know that we'll make it to the dam in uh, by the time it's daylight. and. If I remember correctly, it is dark in the dam. Like there's your, you know, there's multiple levels, you're underground, all of that. So there's not, you need to have lantern light and all that. Oh, this is steep hill. Look at my energy levels just dropping. Oh, there's the. Okay. That didn't work. Okay. It's at some flatter ground. Oh, pain. I need... Do I want painkillers? Where's painkillers? Pop some pills! Okay. I'm plenty warm, but... Oof. Uh, 
Oh, that crunch was so gross. I uh, rolled my ankle pretty, pretty badly last summer. You could you could say it was a break or sprain, depending on who you talk to. Um, and that crunch is not one that you forget. I was coming out of a, a porta potty. We were camping, last day of camping, and uh, I went to the bathroom in the morning before we started loading up the car. And I'm coming out of the bathroom, and I stepped wrong coming out of the bathroom and just crunch like you're breaking twigs that is what it sounded like okay i i need like a sled if i walk down here i'm just gonna get more sprain okay well let's i have no food let's at least Chug a bunch of cold tea. <laughs> Gives me some calories. Damn it. Oh, I'm not thirsty. I'm just like frustrated and swearing. Who are these footprints? Okay, we gotta take this more gentle path, we'll say. I need a sled. Can I can I construct a sled? Oh, I don't like this angle. Ah. Oh. Okay. I have like, what, two sprained wrists? I'm gonna be high on painkillers. That is a left and right hand. High on painkillers. What can I drop? I can drop a pot. I need to drop like four kilos of stuff. Am I not wearing this? Wait a second. What is this? Quality? Condition. I think I gotta drop... Some... I gotta drop some weight. It feels... dumb to be dropping... clothing? I'm just going to keep spraining myself until I die on the cold out here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to be... This is not going well. <laughs> I'm going to be like cocaine bear. I am like... Bandaged and high. Okay, let's. We gotta drop some. I don't know what to drop. 40 roses.
Okay. I still have a sprain risk. I I am so at a loss of where to go. I'm just going to keep breaking. I'm just so terrified I'm going to break another thing. I have... I mean, it says I have no afflictions, but we know that's not true. I'm high on painkillers. I have no food in my stomach. And, uh... Three of four limbs are bandaged. Oh, but at least there's like a little house right here. Let's see. Deadfall area. Okay. This isn't even a thing. This is a... A random stove. Hey, look! A can and some firewood! And a pot. I don't have anything to cook. I'm not thirsty, so I can't just like sit here and chug tea. Which is dumb. Can I say I should be able to chug tea as much as I want? But that's cool. Deadfall area. I need to find rabbit, though. There's nothing else out here. See, I'm not going to find uh, a house full of candy bars. Man, I do not like where that trapper's cabin is located. But there's lots of sticks and stuff all around. Okay, I'm almost to the train tracks. Now, in the survival mode, there's a wolf that like stalks you along the train tracks. Hopefully that wolf is not here. Train tracks have got to be popping up. Like, like right here? Train tracks? Yay, power line, train tracks. Okay. So I think our goal is going to be to make it to that camp building. Oh, what did I say? What did I just say? This is the wolf that hunts the train tracks for all the uh, rabbits that like to ride the rails. But that should be a, a camp thing up here. Yeah, let's head to that. I think that'll be a good place to stop and rest. Um, oh, I don't like that echo. And I cannot see anything. Let's follow that wire, though. There we go. What is that? It looks like a thing. Oh, that's like a light. Mystery Lake. Oh yeah, we're in Canada. La Mystère. Oh, I didn't realize there could be somebody in here. Nope. Okay. A cooler full of food? What? Just for me? Excellent. Oh, soda. Some newsprint. The frozen angler. Ooh. Yes, we will study you. And some mittens. Blueprint unlocked. Hook. Fishing tackle. Line. Ooh. Awesome. 
And a fresh lantern. A book. With a gun on it. Papers, papers, papers. A radio. Park notice. Okay. Due to unusually cold weather this year, we're shutting down Mystery Lake Provincial Park a little earlier than usual. Make sure all campers are packed up and ready to bug out by rail truck. Anyone left behind will have to get out on foot. Not a nice prospect. As per the usual procedure, lock up all lake cabins and make sure all provisions are stored in bear-proof containers. And please take the flag down this year. We had to replace it after last winter. The winds just tear it to shreds. After you finish closing down the camp, be sure to check in at Forestry Service Lookout as requested. Apparently those guys think someone's been using their lookout to store hunting gear and drying old animal skins. Man, I don't envy you that backwater posting. Great Bear has sure gone downhill since the quakes. Hint of uh, stuff to come? Yes. Like, theoretically... Yeah, a little, little stove. It is hot in here. I mean, hot in here. It is cold in here. So I can make hooks and line. That's awesome. Let's... Oh, I get two lines per. Yeah, let's do some crafting out of gut. And we'll apparently make some hooks out of some scrap metal. You think you would be able to get a lot of hooks. I'm just saying. De I mean, depending on the size of the scrap metal. And there's reclaimed wood and all that. Look at that just sitting here. Oh, in line. Reclaimed wood. Scrap metal. Man. Oh, you know, it is worth thinking that maybe there was an earthquake. Right. Storm lantern. Okay. Oh, what did we think we needed? Oh, snare. Reclaimed wood. Very cool. Rabbit skin mitts. So I need more pelton and all that. I think I can use this. Oh, hey, cool. More line. Tackle. Look. Dude, if you picked up one fishing line and you're like, oh, too much. Maybe go home. I'm just saying. I guess that's your goal. Is to go home. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Oh. Receipt, papers, cool rug, lappy toppy. They have like Zork or something on there. Be worth playing. Salty Cracker. Should be my YouTube channel name. Well, there's plenty of stuff in here. Chair. So, like, this stuff I can break down. Yeah. Okay. Dried fish, no? Is that Christmas lights? The good news is I'm not getting cold. Even though it's cold in here, I'm not cold because of the clothing I'm wearing. Book, 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 book. Plenty of burnables in here. What? A whole roast deer in there? What? Probably a coat or something. Some socks. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ragged thermal underwear. Nothing like somebody else's ragged underwear. Pillow. Oh, of course, a hunting knife to break down. Can, stove, pot. Bunk. These are like bunks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mystery lake and area. Oh, this is a lot. Do you guys want me to read this? All right. The mystery lake region is an alpine valley. Average altitude 1,200 meters above sea level. Named for the large lake that dominates its southeastern quadrant. 
The region is fringed by mountains on the west and south, and the foothills of the inner island range to the north and east. The region is bisected by a section of the north-south line of the Trans-Island Railway. The region's main characteristics are its heavily forested and hilly terrain. Yes, we experienced that. As well as its an abundance of wildlife. We have not experienced that. The region's high altitude leads to low average temperatures as well as some of the coldest nighttime temperatures on Great Bear Island. Heavy snowfalls are common. The Mystery Lake area is a popular summertime destination with campers and hikers, but the area largely shuts down during the winter months due to its inaccessibility. There are no major roads connecting the area to more populated regions in the adjoining valleys lower in the mountain chain, so the area is primarily accessed by dedicated hikers willing to make the long trek that winds along medium to advanced level trails from the nearest town of Rupert's Landing. That's probably where we need to head. The region's harsh inaccessibility has been both a blessing and a curse over the years. Until the railway line was blasted through in the 1930s, the area was largely a pristine and untouched wilderness. But the lack of amenities, or standing population, made it difficult for any real permanent infrastructure to take root. A project to link the Mystery Lake area with secondary highway network crisscrossing between the various mountain valleys was abandoned due to the geological instability of the steep mountains and cliffs. The highway caused landslides that were a continuous threat to the project's viability, and the highway project was abandoned after only a few kilometers of roadway had been cleared. In the 1960s, an ambitious industrialist, Richard Carter, selected the Mystery Lake area for a new hydroelectric project meant to provide power to a large mining operation in the next valley. The lake's continuous replenishment via a vibrant aquifer network, as well as mountain streams that channeled annual spring runoff, made Mystery Lake a natural reservoir with untapped hydroelectric potential. Yet other than a small test dam constructed in 1962, the project was abandoned when the region's inaccessibility and seismic instability made it cost prohibitive. To this day, apart from the railway line that passes through, the only connection between the Mystery Lake region and the adjoining valleys are the hiking trails that pass through the mountains. These trails often become impassable during the winter months due to cold temperatures and heavy snowfall. Also, due to the region's generally uninhabited nature, wildlife have not become habituated to the presence of humans, which can make them threatening. Hikers and campers are warned to avoid the area during winter months, as well as to store all food and waste in bare safe containers. Well then. Yeah, we'll take it. Cool info. I can tell oh, there's a cup of herbal tea. <laughs> Gross. I'm sure it's moldy at this point. Um so as someone who lives near the Lake Tahoe region, I can tell you that all the camping we do in Northern California in the Sierras and all that, uh you've gotta use the bear. Bear lockers is the only way. Okay, where are we on time? Yes. Okay, let's uh, let's sleep until morning. And we will end it there. And uh, next episode, we will not next episode. I guess next part, we will start fresh and go explore the dam. And my gods, it is dark here. We still need to sleep for a little bit. Did we fail at sleeping? There we go. Got a little bit of sunlight coming in. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And getting kind of thirsty. We are getting kind of thirsty. We will drink this all down. And we will see you next time in Mystery Lake on Winter Mute Wednesday. Thank you so much. Take care.